Hi everybody, this is Kagome, and yes, I am still looking like a hot mess, but I am slowly getting myself back together so that I can be kind of normal. But today I just wanted to talk to you about dreams and give you a quick tip on managing your dreams in the shower. So I know sometimes it can be hard to kind of um, juggle your dreams, your medical dreams, while you're in the shower. I wanted to give you a quick idea, something really simple and easy on what to do because when you're outside of the shower and you're dressed, you can easily pin your dreams to your um, clothing. So I just don't get in the video because you're not dressed. And um, but when you're in the shower, you cannot pin your clothes to your clothes, your dreams to your clothing. But this is just something really quick and easy that I did before I even went in for surgery. It's just a little bag and you can actually just buy a bag and do this if you want to but I didn't really have anything to and this was a um this was actually a little skirt that you wear over your bathing suit bottom. So it's kinda of, the material is nice and it's um nice and firm but the water won't, it won't take forever to dry after you get out of the shower because it's made for water. So um, it's not the bathing suit bottom like the stretchy material, but it's really firm like the, I don't know, I don't really know what it's, what it's made out of. Actually, let me see if it's says nylon, 100% nylon. So that's what this is and I just took what I did was, it was a skirt, so I cut one piece off the bottom and I used it to make a strap. So I just cut along the whole bottom part to make a strap. And then I just folded it in half and I put stitches along the bottom of it to make a little bag. And since I folded it in half to make two pockets on the inside, I made two pockets, but you don't have to do that. I stitched it on the side as well, you know. Not even, I didn't even stitch all the way down, I just put like a little stitch in the side to make so it would be two pockets, see? So it kind of looks like shorts, but not really. And then I just took the piece that I cut off and made it, turned it into a strap and just sewed it to each side of it. So when I get into the shower, oh, and I also cut holes in the bottom of the newly formed bag. I cut holes in the bottom so that when I was in the shower, water would drain out of the bottom and it wouldn't accumulate and get all heavy and the bowls be floating. So when I get in the shower, after I get undressed, I can just put the strap around my neck and then I can put my drains in there. And I'll show you what the drains look like one more time. I've been showing you a lot, but I'll show you one more time. These are, these are the bowls from the drains and the tubes and they're quite long so that I can just put them down in the bag and then they'll just sit in there and I don't have to worry about them dropping while I'm in the shower and I won't have to worry about dropping out of my hands because I have soap and whatnot. and then there's little holes in there little holes, you probably can't see those, yeah, here's one little holes all along the bottom and the sides so that the water will easily drain out and then when you get out you can you can easily rinse this by hand, you can rinse it right in the shower and then just hang it over the shower rod to dry and it'll be dry in like an hour or so. You can do that. Or you can easily just get a bag with an extra long um, strap and use that or use one of those one of the fanny packs that go around your waist. You could do that if you want it. It's also, I'm just trying to recycle stuff so that's how I ended up doing that. There's also these, you can get one of these plastic pillowcase things that your pillowcase comes in, a little plastic cover that your um, when you buy a new pillowcase it comes in these and you can just like get another strap. If you've got two of them just cut a strap out of the other one and glue it with some E6000 or Gorilla Glue or something like that or even just stitch down a piece of cloth to it or something or use some duct tape and make a strap. You know, you can do anything with duct tape. So you can do that and then just use this as a bag. You cut some holes in the bottom of it 
Don't you have the holes in the bottom to make sure the water can drain out and it won't get all heavy while you're trying to take a shower. It'll be nice and light. I just found this was like super, super light, lightweight. I haven't had any troubles out of it. It's staying together and it's always ready for me when I get ready to take my next shower. It's always dry, you know, so it was just, I just thought that I would give you guys this idea in case you were ever having trouble with um, taking a shower. I know the first time I had surgery, I hadn't thought of all this stuff ahead of time. And shower, taking a shower was kind of hard because I was trying to balance holding my drains. And sometimes you have a lot, like I have three. So you have to balance holding your drains and then trying to wash yourself and be steady in the shower and not fall from just having surgery and stuff like that. So just make yourself a little baggy or buy yourself a little baggy. This only cost me a dollar to do. So um, you can try that out. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip. If you have any more questions or suggestions or, you know, any issues that might come up that you think, you know, I can't help you with, just don't be afraid to let me know. I have my first follow-up appointment um, this week on Thursday. Maybe my dream will come out then, so I won't have to worry about this anymore. And I'll tell you what comes next. Okay. Happy Sunday, you guys. Bye.